All right. So we got that Bell Sprout 13 attack, uh, 10 special attacks, 10 special defense, 13 speed. That's going to be great. Uh, we'll evolve it to a Weeping Bell before we really even use it. Um, and then next up, got this Vulpix. We want good speed and good special. We have very good special. 14 special attacks, 14 special defense. This is buffed. You can get nine tails at uh, level 30. Um, so going to be very good, but not until then. Um, it will be good for a couple of really, really niche fights coming on up here. Um, but for now, um, we've uh, we've got to... Uh, we got to make a decision here. So um, I'm thinking this team is usually pretty good. What do we need to take on the? Um, because let's. So we'll introduce you guys, I guess, to the uh, dev calculator. Um, so this run. So bring that up. So the dev calculator. Calculates whoever you know we're fighting against. It uh, gives me a chance to you know see what I'm up against. So um, I already put in like Weeping Bell, which would be level 16, even though that's not uh, the Pokemon yet. Um, but we've got you know our fight planned out. So our first fight is going to be Sage uh, Edmund, um, and he's going to lead with a Poliwag. Um, so we don't. I don't think we have anything that outspeeds. We don't. Um, so I think the best option here is going to be just Dunsparce Bite Fight. Um, that's probably going to be the best option um, for this uh, Poliwag. Because I'd rather save this. So that's a, uh, it's a two shot. The different, the thing you don't want to come in on is, is Bone Club. Um, and you risk, you risk crit almost every time there. This probably has a chance, um, but I would love to see at level 15 as a bell sprout what we're looking at. Because again, this is going to be our only grass type. See, I'm always dead to crit here. But I am faster, so I can just come in straight on a rock throw. Actually, this is a good bring at level 15, so that, that saves a good problem. That's going to bring on acid. Um, we forgot our, uh, our, our rock type. I'm just realizing it now. We never got our rock type. Wow. Okay. Well, we will get them. Uh, we will get them as soon as we can turn around. That's uh, not too big of a deal. We don't need them yet. Um, literally, I think the first useful fight is coming up. But um, it, it's not this fight or next fight. It's the fight after that. So that's great. We can just have the lava for this. Okay. Cool, I like that. So we're gonna start out with Squirtle on Poliwag. It's gonna outspeed, gonna go for Body Slam. We'll have a Cherry Berry um, because I think it's gonna want to attack. Um, and I wanna do max uh, damage to it, I would think. Uh, you can really, again, Bite or Slam can be, there's an argument for both. I think Slam is, is the better option. That'll bring in Yeah, it, it's it, we're gonna be able to we're gonna be able to work with this. Okay. Your rock type will help. Very soon, again, we're going to be going for Almanite, um, which is not really going to have a rock move until level 16. So through this part of the game, we really will be out a rock move. Luckily, we have plenty of water types. Stun Spore, very important uh, move to get people paralyzed. We don't have a Mareep right now, so this is our only... Uh, This is our only user of that uh, that sort. All right, what do we got here? So, Ch 
cherry berry. We don't want to be we don't want to be outsped. Um, or we don't want to be paralyzed at any point. Um, we're gonna use orange berry for sure on you, and definitely quaggy as well. Alright, so this is a three shot. shot here. Um, can I die here? Never. Comes in clutch right at the end. I don't think acid can kill me unless it crits. Yeah. So we're, uh, this is definitely Razor Leaf. Kill with cool lava, I believe, very, very, very easily. going to be uh, ground attack. We're going to go into our flyer. Rock throw, bell sprout kills every single time. Also really good with experience here um, to get uh, three Pokemon in rather than uh, the regular two. Uh, this is usually where Chikorita shines. Uh, Chikorita Bayleaf depending on when you want to evolve it. Uh, this can never kill. And this always kills. Alright. Mankey would have been a dope encounter. Uh, I'm going to switch because I, I, I think I can die there. <laughs> if I can if I'm not fast enough. Ow. All right, we're going to heal up next fight. Um, so it has the same concept. It has a ground type. Uh, we have a great counter to this. Um, so we, it's uh, it, you start out with uh, hop hip. Which, I mean, you just one-shot. Um, we can actually use Doduo there, I think, to one-shot. I'll just check real quick. No, he doesn't. Doduo doesn't one-shot at level 15. Quilava at level 15 always one-shots. Okay, 
So you use Cold Lava. You're going to get Dig on Larvitar. Um, with that, we can just go into Hoot Hoot. Uh, it'll go Rock Throw. We can go into Wooper. Wooper can Magnitude. It can never kill with Dig. And then Bubble Beam always kills. That's good to know. Okay. And then after that, we're probably going to get Bubble Beam ourselves. Razor Leaf. I mean, it has Psy Beam, so probably not. Probably go into Squirtle here. Probably try. We got to get a Hypnosis Berry. And then we also have uh, Dunsparce just in case things get a little reckless. change so we're leading implosion thing we do need to do and this is very important chesto berry uh, for sleep I'm gonna put it on you and I'm gonna put it on the stoice Natsu is an interesting one. I, I mean, I, I've been going specifically for the Apom. There's so many interesting ones, but I'm telling you, Bellsprout is all over the place here. It is, it is Sprout Tower. They stayed on brand there. Uh, we're going to just grab this nugget real quick. It'll be after this battle, um, after we do this one, we're going to be able to, um, also focusing on the fight, sorry. Uh, after this battle, we're going to be able to get our fossil. Um, fossils are a little tough to catch, um, so you got to kind of have a plan, but we actually have a decent team for that. Especially if we're going after Ammonite. Flame wheel. This kills. Just straight up kills. Um, here comes Dig. From the Larvitar. And yeah, dude's got a Larvitar with, with Dig. This early on. Um, we're going to go into our Flying type. We out speed, so we will not be able to get in any damage anyway, passively. This is going to be Rock Throw now. Um, we're going to go into uh, the Quag. Alright. Uh, we are not faster, so it's going to dig. We're going to hit it with a magnitude here. Um, I believe, what is my magic number here? So there's a magic number that you need to know is what you're dead to crit. 33 is my magic number here. And I'm at 37. So I can never die to crit. Which is fantastic because Bubble Beam would always kill. Um, but that, that kills so you don't even have to worry about it. Alright, now we got the Psyduck. This is going to be Bubble Beam, and I believe it can kill me in, in two shots. Uh, so we're going to go into the Stoys. Now we've got the Hypnosis just in case. Uh, this is going to outspeed, and this can also lower my speed even further, but that doesn't matter here. Uh, go Slam. Big damage. And Slam can't miss in this game. Alright, Confusion is a little awkward. Yeah, so that's a little awkward. Um, let me 
go into the spurs. Start fighting away. Special defense is very good. I expect it to pretty much tank this. Speed drop would be pretty bad. Um, we're gonna get one more shot in. Where I don't think we die. If we get a flinch here, that would be dope. Got it. See ya. Ooh, yeah, it does it does speed up. I don't think I'm dead to crit here. Um, I should probably have checked that, but uh, we're good. We're dead to the next one. Um, okay, it's always bubble beam. Uh, so we can actually play around and pivot if we want to if we're feeling that kind of that kind of way we just avoid a crit here and we're fine or we avoid uh, confusion here Uh, I'm going to check. There's no reason I wouldn't outspeed, right? No, I'm... I'm I outspeed. Alright, next battle. Or, well, let's... Let's get ourselves, uh... Let's get ourselves an Omanyte. Hopefully. That's how you get out of here. Um, God, I love the city. It just means home. Put it to sleep, and let's catch it, hopefully, quickly? Question mark? Uh, what do we get here? There we go, the Ammonite. That's very good. Uh, this is best thing for, uh, for Falk. Um, you know, for, for what's, what... For, uh, for this battle. Almanite's going to be fantastic. It's a great pivot. Um, it's got more defense than Kabuto. It's perfect for this fight and this fight alone. Um, usually the Gligar is... The Gligar is the thing that... Uh, that can kind of mess you up a little bit. Um, this thing uh, can one-shot at times if it's got good enough special um, with Aurora Beam. Um, which is four times super effective, um, so it's a good matchup there. However, uh, I believe Gligar is going to uh, come out immediately after uh, while we're doing our rollout sl uh, sleep, uh, sweep. And by the way, in this game, uh, rollout is 100% accurate. The only way is like if you confuse, um, you paralyze or something of that nature. Put to sleep, which is a that's going to be a real, real, uh, real problem. 
Dust should not kill. Rock type should resist. We don't have great attack yet. We can get another one off. Uh, this is troublesome. I think we're okay. We might be just dead. Um, no need to risk it. Let's. It, it's it can't do anything to to Erbstoys, so it'll it'll be a while until it can knock me down. Uh, it's just not gonna get status. We'll just keep throwing balls. All right, so we're gonna add Omnite to the team. That's gonna be pretty huge. Because uh, obviously that's our uh, pivot type. Um, Omanyte really, again, I, I'm very excited to have this as an Omnistar. I've never gotten it far enough to be an Omnistar in this game. Um, it's either A, been a really early death, um, which it can be because Kabuto is a little bit more um, important um, as the game goes along. Um, but I'm very excited to use it because it's uh, it's a lot faster, um, water rock type. And this is Erbma Star. All right. So let's. Again, healing yourself with the restore kit does not heal your PP, so doing this every once in a while, or just taking your Pokemon out of the box and back into the box uh, cures your PP as well. Um, so if like you have hypnosis, um, you can also go to a Pokemon Center, like just walk in and do that, like in every Pokemon game. But uh, this is if you're on the run, you can do that, or you may be in an area where PC is disabled, so uh, be careful. Um, Double checking again that I have uh, repellent on. Alright, great.
All right, so we got a fight to prepare for. Um, and this is definitely a dev calculator one where I can uh, bring this up. All right. So. The next fight, we've got an Aber here. Uh, that's very key. Now, uh, Quilava actually outspeeds and it can go for headbutt. Well, I'm expecting Thunder Wave if that's the case for speed control. Um, this can kind of just solo this early. Yeah. I I mean, this also probably does well. It just it it doesn't outspeed. Um this doesn't outspeed. Yeah, we use the speed factor here. Uh yeah. And then we've got this one. It's gonna curse up. You know, we're gonna be able to flame wheel it. We can headbutt into flame wheel into flame wheel. Yeah. Okay. That's that's and then we just go, um we gotta add our ammonite, um, which I'll do that right now. You guys can watch. How we get that done. This is, uh, we gotta bring Ammonite here. Situation. Uh, we won't need this. Let's look at the stats. All right, 12 HP, seven attack, three defense, eight special attack, two speed. That's pretty good. No, compa no, uh, no complaints here. Uh, definitely want better defense usually, but it's already pretty good defense. And special being eight, that's that's average. Now the next factor is we got to make sure we don't uh, get thunder waved here. Um, that's our number one goal. At level 16, it learns rock slide. Um, so it will have our first rock attack. Well, we're going to be waiting for it uh, quite a bit. All right, Cherry Berry is absolutely imperative here. We need it. And Orin Berry, because uh, HP is usually really, really, really an issue with uh, Almanite. All right. I don't think I'm leading the right uh, people. All right, well, I'm done. All right, Abra comes in. He just puts us to sleep. Oof, I may be dead to that. I was just lucky as fuck. All right, well, what have we learned? The only benefit we uh, we help with HP there, but uh, that was not smart. Then again, you start here. You can just headbutt. Usually flinches, but again, putting it to sleep. Sleep's pretty broken in Gen two. Um, it can be asleep up to six turns, I believe. And yeah, that's uh, how it could have been, but we're fine. Um, next up. Eevee, uh, it's going to want to curse and headbutt, um, so it's going to get a lot slower, 
This is our one chance to do physical damage. Um, and we can flinch. Uh, it went straight to attack. Okay, cool. So now um, we flame wheel. Um, because this will always two shot, um, even with the berry. And the burn just guarantees it. Very nice. Alright, so that's dead. Uh, last but not least, we've got uh, Nightshade user. Uh, the Hootoot. I think we're going to get a Nightshade here. That's pretty much guaranteed. Go into the Sparse. Go into the Irby. Alright, Aurora Beam coming up here. Nightshade. It was pretty lucky Hypnosis missed as well there. We would have been able to come in on a Nightshade again, but uh, this should probably two shot. Yeah, it's gonna do passive damage here. It's. it's I'm gonna. All that's gonna happen. Well, it may not even proc the berry. Um, because I'll kill here. Which will save a berry. Alright. Clean. And we, uh. Herb Flosion didn't even go up. Alright, cool. Next up is Swine Up. Um. And this one isn't as, uh, this one isn't as hard. So, I mean, Kualava would just straight up kill. It's going to use Dig. It's faster than Squirtle. So we can do a, uh, Whooper. We can do Whooper here. This is going to be a Whooper, uh, shot. Um, and then that brings in Apom after that. Uh, we can go back into Omanyte. Um, it's going to Mud Slap. And eventually we can just Quick Attack kill this with, uh, with Doduo. So we'll, we'll make some offensive changes here. Um, bring on a, uh, a couple of replacements. Um, so we will take out... We really can... We don't need this here. We don't need this yet. So we'll grab the duo. Actually, yeah. No, we'll bring. This is fine. Uh, you just need Orin Berries for this battle. Uh, this is definitely a Quagurb start, and uh, it should be fine. Now, this is going to be a pop-up trainer. Obviously, we are prepared for him. Ah. We're getting, uh, we're getting by Fal uh, Faulkner tonight, guys. All right, so it's going to dig. Uh, we'll just do the magnitude. It can't kill me. This is a very good... Uh, I love that this... Uh, Whooper is very, um, uh, it, it's, it's very bulky. Um, you just gotta be careful of, uh, grass coverage. So, 16, uh, that doesn't matter. 
So Apom's going to come in. This will probably be Swift. This is why we have Ammonite. And this is why Ammonite's probably one of the best Pokemon. Um, especially early on being able to pivot like this. Beam can lower attack, and it's the same damage. Alright, and it's accuracy falls. Those are a little annoying. This is gonna three shot. Um, I don't believe it has a berry. It may have a berry. I don't, I don't, I don't, I can look that up. But... Okay, uh, it's, I'm nowhere near range, and we're gonna get healed by the berry here. But we just missed a couple of times, and that sucks. Um, we could miss again here. The idea was to be in position. Um, I got one more shot at this, even though my accuracy is nowhere near where it needs to be. Alright, that is uh, incredibly unlucky, but um, thankfully pretty easy to play around. Um, should be all right for at least one more. It's a, it's a massive crit. That is also a massive crit. Um, Can this two-shot lava is much less likely to. Can it one-shot the duo? No, it cannot. That is incredibly important because you can just quick attack. Unless they quick attack. I mean, it can't kill you. If, if it crits, it crits. Wow. Alright, um, I mean, we just do it. It's, we just do it. it. It will always see kill after this. Um, I think in most cases. Yeah, see. It won't be quick attacking. We will be quick attacking. Alright, good, uh, good pivot around. That was, uh, again, that's really, really bad luck. Um, but having good pieces around definitely helps. Okay, this battle is, um, a seal is the big Pokemon here. And now the question is, do we, um, utilize our Bellsprout, aka Weepin' Bell? Um, I think the first thing to check is see how it does, um, as a Bellsprout. It's a speed tie, um, and it's using Icy Wind every time. So if we go Weepin' Bell, it's, uh, 16... And I'm doing these off uh, so you guys can just take a look at the game. Uh, it's 77 to 84. And it will probably always outspeed us afterwards. The thing is we could survive two icy ones. Um, unless it crits. So I think... Slam does like with Squirtle and I don't outspeed. And it has Headbutt. Hoot hoot. Mm. Mm. Not that great. Yeah, I think it's just always we get it up to a weeping bell. Um, it is a high crit chance. Um, this is the part where we're not going to, you know, really do too much. Um, spark headbutt here. Um, we don't outspeed with whooper. Um, but we obviously are clear of anything else. Um, we can stun spore. We can definitely stun spore here with weeping bell. 
I think that may be the play. And then we can go into Whooper and have some fun. Um, I mean, there's plenty of things that we can do in contingency, but obviously, you know, something that resists electric. Um, those two things are, are great here. Uh, so I think, yes, we will, after uh, after an icy wind, we will um, not outspeed. But uh, the magic number is 32 with, uh, with seal. And again, we could just one shot with uh, razor leaf here. So I think that's really the only plan that we can do. Um, and then we'll check out um, some some backup things to worry about. This is definitely not we can we can rest Almanite here. our weeping bell here and i think for the we'll, we could save it for the next battle but we're gonna we're gonna get our war turtle um here as well we could start pressing uh 16 on on some of these okay I think for the sake of it, we can, we can go Dunsparce 15. That's not... We can go Dunsparce 15. And it's going to learn Headbutt here. That's that's perfect. Now this becomes just stupid good. Um, we're going to take away Haze because uh, in Gen 2, the Defense Curl rollout strat uh, is unbeatable. I am zero attack. That is the only thing I'm worried about. But... We are going to at least take three lives if if we're successful in getting in when we get in. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's kill something. Now, that's my, that's my main counter. Uh, that's my main counter to uh, Sunflora coming up here. Uh, we don't have a lot of good counters to, to Sunflora, to be honest with you. Alright, so Razor Leaf. Uh, it kills if it crits, and it's a high crit chance move. Um, okay, so we're gonna have to avoid a crit here if we get it. So, 32. As long as we're above 32, which we are, we're never dead to crit. So, we just attack again. And kill. Excellent. All right, Mareep comes in. Um, we're gonna sun stun spore here. It can't do really anything else to us. Um, it's gonna headbutt. We don't want it to matter. So this is likely a headbutt coming in. It can be both. So that's a little, little scary. So I'll go. So we'll go into Dunsparce. Because I think this is... Going to be a guaranteed some kind of electrical move after this. And double paralyze, huh? Okay. So magnitude six, I don't think that's enough. We do have high attack. Yeah, no, not enough. Okay. Okay. 
All right, very nice. All right, next battle. Uh, Growlithe leads, so if we go War Turtle here. Uh, it doesn't outspeed, which that is probably the most important part about this. So we'll probably go Quilava, since it doesn't outspeed. Um, this absolutely walls the, uh, the to uh, the, uh, tentacle in this battle. So we're probably gonna lead Cool Lava and just headbutt, headbutt, um, headbutt span this thing. Yeah, we'll take some passive damage, but it won't be too big of a deal. Um, it'll always be headbutt or bite. You can always go to, like, Doduo for, like, a, a quick kill. Since we already have it in the lineup. Alright. So, Weeping Bell doesn't need... Can come out. Here. Second. Um, let's bring Urban Star back. Because we're going to need him. At some point here. This is the perfect team to bring here. Let's get a war turtle. Also get seismic toss. It's a very good move. This could be definitely a good option. Um, I, it's probably a really, really good answer to the uh, to the what's it called. Probably decent for Pinsir. Probably gets off a shot. Um, but the, uh, the, what's it called? Um, the, the Shuckle. I feel like that's, that's a really, really good Pokemon for the Shuckle. Um, which is incredibly buffed in this game. Alright, so we start here. Uh, we headbutt as many times as possible. Hopefully, uh, we get some flinches. Um, if not, this will be about a three shot, unless we're incredibly unlucky with low rolls. I think this should usually always be a three shot. Again, we're going to be faster, so we're going to be a bit headbutt here, get a chance to flinch. We don't want to give this Growlithe a chance to flinch. Us. Um... Alright, I got one more shot at it where it doesn't crit. I have no idea if I still have a berry equipped to it. Uh, we're dead to crit here, and I don't know if this straight up kills... Twenty-seven. Quick attack does more. That looks like more than thirty. That looks. That looks like more than thirty percent. I think we're always safe here. But I'm not a hundred percent sure that's twenty-five. All right. So quick attack. And I was right. So there we go. Um, all right, we go up to 16 there. That's that's pretty good. All right, tentacle, 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 tentacle. Um, this is going to be Aurora Beam, probably. Um, which doesn't matter. This we uh, we've we've completely walled it. The Stoice is here. Going to do some Stoice things. It'll lower defense. It can it can do all that. That's fine. It's pretty frail. This will be a three shot. A 
first one was really low roll. Fence drops, and we're good. All right. Now, this is like the mini boss, but we should be able to... The, the problem is, definitely, we do have a problem with the... Uh, we do have a problem coming up with the... Uh, the Elekid. The Elekid in this fight is a problem. Um, Ice Punch can kill Weepin' Bell. And even if it's a 12.8 chance, that's not a chance I want to take here. Um, it's also killing we can get this to level 16 it is got a what's that 30 percent chance these rolls look weird oh so it's a 2.6 percent chance to take that and then fire off a magnitude hopefully high level if we just start with whooper so like we're risking a 2.6% chance to crit. It's one roll. It's a 1 in 16 roll. What is my other options here? Um, we have Quilava, which does not outspeed, but will get sparked. And at level 16... There's a chance you can low roll into high roll and kill with Quilava. It's not good. Um, the only benefit I think that I see here is it, it always guarantees spark. Uh, but that's everyone kind of always guarantees spark here. Uh, Dunsparce. Dunsparce is interesting here. Because one, I can go up a level, and we also have headbutt. Actually, this may be the counter. I mean, I may not like just this. This may be it. <laughs> yeah, this two shots, low kick. Like that doesn't. It's not going to do a ton. That's like, that's better. That's better, because it's going to have to crit twice, and it's not going to do that. Okay, cool. Uh, that would probably bring in uh, just a Mega Drain. There's, It's not guaranteed, uh, but we can go in here and Acid. Um, and that will bring in a guaranteed Rock Throw. Um, we could go into this. We could go into this. We can go into that. It doesn't outspeed. That's insane. Yeah, there's a lot of things that we can do here. Okay. Um, we got a good team for this, though. It's it's a lot better than I thought um, because of the Dunsparce. I think Omnite just comes to the next fight. Um, I don't think really anything's that, that great. And... Yeah, I think we're fine. With, with this collection of Imbeciles. I think we're gonna be okay here. Uh, we don't need this. We don't need the Doduo. I'd rather bring... I'd rather bring him for... For support. We don't need a normal type here other than Dunsparce. Um, nothing we really need to do. We just need to restore.
All right, and then we're leading with Dunsparce here. All right, we'll see what Spark can do to us. Um, again, it's a 1 in 16 chance. A 1 in 16 chance on... Uh, on Dunsparce here. It's got a berry, so it's a, there's a chance it can heal out of berry range after we hit it. Um, but it's, it's pretty w likely to two shot here. We've got, we've got some things that can come in just in case. I think we got to really, uh, I think we'll be fine for this, for this fight. So, here we go. The, the usual, uh, thing that we do, again, we usually have a Mareep here, which is, uh, the interesting part is we have no electric type. Um, that can be a problem. Um, we do have a grass type, which I'm okay with, but electric type is definitely pretty important. Now, there are plenty of opportunities to get Mareep coming up here. Um, and we can get it. We have a very high chance at getting it for the next one. All right. See, what's my uh, magic number on this? Uh, twenty-eight. So we want to stay above twenty-eight, uh, or we risk being dead to crit. This is a chance. I don't. I don't love it. So we are exactly at twenty-eight. So we are dead to. We're essentially dead to crit here. Uh, it can spark. Spark can't um, hit that. It has to roll exactly low kick to do that. Um, again, this is the most important Pokemon. Um, and we're not really risking anything by going into Earthflosion here. Yeah. Uh, Alright, good. And my magic number here is always 30 with Spark. Um, so anything I do kills. So good start. We were able to move some XP uh, even unintentionally. Um, but that was, yeah, it, 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 it definitely had a chance after Barry, especially early, to not two shot there. Um, but we're okay. Alright, so this is going to be Rock Throw. We could straight up just go into this. Uh, what does what does Bubble Beam do here? Low kick twenty two is my magic number. Bubble Beam does all right. It can lower speed. It doesn't out speed, which is pretty crazy, but it does um, resist rock. So we'll take that. And again, this is not gonna. This I don't think this is a Faulkner Pokemon by any means. So um, I don't. I, it's its use is is coming to an interesting point uh what does magnitude do here you can kill with magnitude but it has to be the highest roll okay i think i'm still okay this thing's pretty bulky man i i didn't realize how bulky just whooper was all right a flinch interesting Okay, um, let's go into War Turtle. War Turtle. Actually, this is a Weeping Bell pivot time. So what we're gonna do here, I, I could have done this, but this is gonna be, this is just gonna be fine. Uh, can I die to crit? Um, rock throw? I can. So that you can just we can just do this. Um, as is, I think. I think this just kills with Weeping Bell. 
It does. So we'll just switch it in, you know, to take an unnecessary rock throw. And we'll kill. Razor Leaf. Alright, really good. Really, really clean. Um, well done. And now we're heading to Faulkner. Um, and let's let's kick his ass. I, I, I'm, I'm very interested. Uh, so we're already set for the Sun Flora here. Um, one thing to check in on, um, because I know Weeping Bell does uh, gain XP pretty quickly. And I don't imagine it would come with us to any of these fights. But, alright, 596... Four thirty-eight, so it can never over level. But what I can do is is uh, switch it um, after this point. Absolutely no way it could be grass type moves. AI is smarter in this game, so it will always see a kill here, and they're gonna always take it with Giga Drain. We'll go into uh, Quilava and just get the kill. Fifty-five percent min roll, always a kill. Excellent. We're doing really, really well on XP um, early on. There is an interesting case, and you can put. We can put in a case to go get. Um, To go get uh to see if we can get Mareep here. We have an I, I can't I can't tell you how incredibly high of a chance we have to get a Mareep here on this route. Um I'm gonna be able to look it up on the uh in the encounter log. Um but we have an extremely good chance um at getting Mareep here. All right, we're gonna use this escape rope. All right. All right, so we got a couple of gin uh, gym trainers to uh, work out right now. So what are we thinking here? Um, so this is the optional battle. I don't think we're going to take that. If we did like a Vulpix on level 16 with Bite. How would it fare? I mean, it wouldn't outspeed or anything, so that, that would be pointless. All right, let's not do that. Um, okay, so if we went in Dunsparce, we can headbutt right away. Um, we're always going to two-shot. Honestly, we can get a little bit of a taste of a rollout sweep here. If we can get a hypnosis off, we're going to have some fun. See if we can get, get that out. See if we can just try a quick rollout sweep. It could get risky. That could get risky. It 
it's just a headbutt here. Um, I think it two shots. And bite into headbutt doesn't. Roll out, obviously, you can get the kills, but... I don't know. It's... I, I'm not... I'm actually not in love with it right now. Um, Doduo. Doduo can kill, but it doesn't outspeed. So you got Quilava, which does outspeed. You can bring it in on Swift. Almost... Almost Knight is gonna have a Rock Slide. Level 16. Um, Aurora Beam has a chance to kill there. Quick attack can be interesting here. Turtle does well. Yeah, we've got we've got weapons. We've got options here. We've got options here for sure. All right. So what we'll do is bring this exact same team. I I think we gotta bring the Do Duo um, just in case because at the Weeping Bell, as much as I'd like it as a switch in um it's actually it may be necessary to no nah, I, I i would like to not use it it's very important for um for mantine I think I've done this a few times where uh, I believe headbutt um, into I believe headbutt into uh, into flame wheel always kills. It doesn't here. It doesn't here. It doesn't always do that. But we can do the headbutt first since we do outspeed. Again, it just a straight crit can kill, but it could burn too. Um, but I think a flinch is more likely. And it's not unheard of that it can do it. It's just not very likely. Um, we got a good team for this, I think. I think ideally just the Weeping Bell um, to be a pivot on uh, fighting type moves. Um, other than that, we got a good team. All right. First gym trainer battle. Okay, so we're gonna outspeed the Spear or the Spiro. We're gonna headbutt and try to go for the flinch chance here. He uses Swift. Okay. That crit. Okay. So we're already kind of in a hole here. 30. I think I'm safe from another crit. No, I'm dead to... I'm dead to... 1 in 16 rolls on each of them. Um, okay. Okay. Is there a good counter based on what I have now? Do I just do a quick pivot? I think we'll be, I think we just flame wheel. 
is this has a chance to kill. And it kills. Alright. Alright, very nice. So Doduo comes in, and this can absolutely kill me. With Swift. This is likely always Swift here. Um, so we're going to be able to go into um, Ammonite quite easy. Um, double Kick comes out next. And if something went wrong, where if this has a... I believe it's like a half chance uh, right now to one-shot with Aurora Beam. Um, this is why I would like uh, Weeping Bell here. Um, I could have done the math to figure out if it, it, it could be here and it didn't over-level. Um, but... I also didn't want it, didn't want to use it. Um, I also may not be dead to a crit if I have a berry equipped. So that's very important to find out. That's a big berry juice fine, but that's okay. So 29. Yeah, there's, there's crit rolls that kill me. Um... This is interesting. Do I... I'm gonna be able to get a free shot off here, but I like... I have a decent chance... I, I think I'm just gonna play safe and try to go with the two shot with the Stoys. Um... It does a good job there. It just you, you want it for for something here because it's a two shot. Um, I just it's 55% um, for Quilava to kill, and I'm not 100% sure that's 55%. It may have been, but oh god, I didn't even freaking calc it. Well, how dead was I? I. 24, I was dead. I was dead to crit. That was just dumb. Alright. Well, rip War Turtle. Uh, for alligators back on the table. That sucks. Here we go. Alright, Pidgey comes in. Can it kill me with anything? That's why you gotta be diligent, guys. It can't kill me at my current level, so let's Swift. We'll see what it throws at, Swift. Okay. The problem was there was such a way around that, and... Oh God, if that just killed... That's so annoying. Anyway, uh, this can't kill. I don't believe. No. 16. Magic number here. There we go. Alright, so we're man- we're a man down from what we usually would have. Uh, it sucks, but we can- we can move. It's- it, again, War Turtle is not great. Um, so next up we've got Natsu. Um, Vulpix is usually pretty good here, but this one doesn't outspeed. Um, this one's slow. I think Dunspar should be fine. This actually is probably your, uh, this is probably your sleep slash rollout one. I 
Alright, so this has got to go in the death box. And I've got to switch out the death counter. Uh, rip, War Turtle. Rip. You honestly should have been better, but you know what? What what can we do? Alright, so for not to, if we go Dunsparce, we don't outspeed. It's going to use conf Confusion, uh, so we could just use Personberry. Actually, Rollout is, is definitely the strategy here. So long as we stay out of Karate Chop crit range, I think we should be fine. We can confuse. I'm just trying to see what is there's like another route to this. <sighs> I guess I guess we could just try and put it to sleep. Just make sure we're not confused here. We just go with the knock towel. Lava for, and we also will have um, Herb Mastar here. And we'll try a uh, person berry, a very rare chance that we're going to try these uh, person berries on for size. One thing we're going to do with Noctowl as well is we're going to take out Noctowl after this. Um, and put it back in so that we uh, cure hypnosis P uh, PP. We're gonna need all five of them just in case. So this is so split in half here. I'll be one one oh nine. One oh nine plus two sixty one plus one seventy three. I know what we can do. Because this if we put this down to three, then that's what is this? Two sixty one plus one seventy three? Is that four, three, thirty-four, four thirty-four, four thirty-four between the two? And if this is under a uh, hundred, we should be fine. Okay, so uh, we're just gonna do a crazy little pivot thing um, where we're gonna force in Mega Drain. Um, we're gonna bring in the Owl. We'll put it to sleep. Hopefully. Um, and then we'll, uh, we'll kind of cheese the fight from there, um, with a little bit of a, a, a preview of what our strategy is going to be, because we don't, we have one strategy that's going to work, guys. There's, there, with, with the War Turtle death actually is not great, um, you know, for different pivot types here, not a good, not a good, 
thing. So here comes Mega Drain. Uh, we're going to bring in the Owl as a result. A lot of time we'll be trying to bait certain moves, um, so that'll be important. Alright, um, yeah, so we didn't even put on the person berry. Hopefully that doesn't matter. Should be able to take these pretty well. And it's gonna matter. It's gonna matter, folks. Alright. 23. What berry is on him right now? What berry did I put on him? Probably a Chesto, right? Uh, 24. That's my magic number. I am dead to crit. Insane. Um, this still should be fine. Berry juice on this thing just sucks. Legitimately sucks. And it's just if you put a person berry, if we played around it, we would have been fine there. But it is what it is. Gotta play better. Especially in this game early on. Alright. Don't level up. That's also a problem here. Rock Slide probably killed here. That's, uh, that's just my bad. We definitely want to switch here. Um, we never take it seriously. We, we never, uh, try that. Uh, it's just a Rock Slide here. Um, it's gonna either crit or not crit. So what do we got here? 23, I believe I'm dead to all crit rolls here. Okay. Um, what will outspeed this? And can I also not only outspeed, but survive a karate chop? Um, I can always with Quilava. Uh 40% is what I do with Flame Wheel here. Question is how much... XP is that. Two forty-five to get up there. All right, and I know I just have to maneuver with the uh, Zubat. I think I can do this. It's likely going to be Sludge or Wing Attack um, from from Zubat here. 130. Okay. I think just switching once should be fine. It's at 173, so switching once gets you under 100. So long as I'm reasonably under 100, I should be okay. 115. Yeah. I just switch once. Um, I'm gonna go into, uh, the herb sparse. Sludge's max damage. We're gonna really hit him hard here with this headbutt. Poison would kinda suck. Can't be put to sleep. Max damage is 27. Unless you get a poison. Ooh, that would be bad here. So, Poison Tick Plus would be pretty crazy bad. Um, what is the chances of a kill from Doduo? Swift, 
51. I think we're just too far along right now and we just kind of got to do it because yeah I can also hypnosis there and that would have been like we would have been in some serious trouble yeah so now this is way different because now we know sludge is coming in we can we're never dead to the poison tick um, but it can hypnosis here we're never dead to the poison tick because we kill. Yeah, see? It didn't crit. It had to crit, too. And that's it. All right. So, guys, now we're going to see Faulkner again. We uh, we lost a Pokemon pretty unnecessarily. I, I got to be honest with you. That was really, really bad by me. Um, but we have so much more of the run to go. There is going to be a lot of times where you're going to need to sacrifice. And um, every once in a while, you'll lose something on something stupid. Um, but it, it water types are extremely abundant. So if you're going to lose a water type... Um, it's, it's not the worst thing in the world to lose a water type, especially since we got Quagsire in the back pocket. Um, but this, this battle just got a lot more interesting. So, how do we want to start this? I, that's, that's immediately like, like how I, I have to, you have to think about this fight. How do we want to start this? Um, because this team is absolutely insane, um, early on. So, to give you an idea... We're going to start out. It starts out with this Murkrow. It's got Pursuit, Nightshade, and Peck. So what we like to do with this one is I like to force in a Nightshade and give someone a level up. So I think Ammonite is going to be the big one that we want to level up here to start. Um, so it the problem is it can Pursuit, but it's most likely to Nightshade. So is there a better option that guarantees that it's just straight up a guarantee that it's going to Nightshade? This is guaranteed peck. So we don't, again, this would actually be, this is where we would use War Turtle. So we're kind of at the mercy of, we could get Pursuited um, here. Um, which would be pretty dangerous. Um, but I think we just, it, it's, it's most likely... This is, this is where it gets a little... This is going to get a little freaky. Um, if we start with Dunsport... I, there's there's an option where we just we just lead with Hoot Hoot here. Right? And just try and put it to sleep right away. Just don't even mess around. Just get into Hoot Hoot. Um, put it to sleep. Because I, I just... I don't think we can unreliably... I, I'd like to level up, but I, I don't think we can reliably um, get what we want there. Um, and we'll have other chances to switch into, like, uh, Nightshade. Uh, but we've got Dunsparce here. Um, rollout gets started. It, it could, it could get pretty, that's gonna get pretty nasty. Um, because then it's just gonna bring in, I, I don't know if it's gonna go in order. Um, I imagine it's gonna be what can defend best against rollout, which would usually be this Gligar, um, which is ground type, so it's at least, um, neutral damage. Um, so that's probably what's going to come in next. Um, and that gets a good chance to be two-shotted. Um, so we honestly, we outspeed the Togetic. Um, it, there's a lot of good, um, that can go with that. That, that's going to really, really cut through that, uh, the opponent. Um, and then it just matters of who's really, really good in utility. So you're thinking late. Who does really well on the Noctowl? Well, Quilava outspeeds the Noctowl. Being able to outspeed this thing, even if you can't do a lot of damage to it, is very important. Uh, we can bring the Weepin' Bell. Weepin' Bell is very, very good for any Toxic King. We can uh, Stun Spore there. 
Um, so that's that's pretty important. So we got to bring those. Um, does Whooper got to come to the fight in case things get weird? I mean, it's it may be just bringing Do Duo as an, a secondary option, um, but I think it's going to be Quilava, Hoot Hoot, Weepin Bell, Ammonite, Dun Sparse, and I think we just bring Do Duo. Um, just to be something that can pivot into uh, Nightshades um, and go quick. Um, not ideal, but I think this is going to be the best way. Whooper we need for later on. Um, and there's a good chance if if, if everything works, um, we don't get Hypnosis misses. We should be fine. Um, let's get the right berries on. So we need an Orin Berry on... Hoot Hoot, a hundred percent. Um, Chesto, that's gonna be again. This is gonna be rough. I think Dunsparce, honestly, it can take damage. Like it, it can really take damage. So I'm not too worried about it. I think the Chesto is actually important on the Herb Owl here. Like, I'm not going to lie. that That's probably way more important. <laughs> He's holding the Pokeball. <laughs> that's mad funny. Uh, we're going to need an Auron on both Ammonite. Uh, because Ammonite needs to be, yeah. Uh, like, like Ammonite needs to play Pivot. Um, and Herb Flosion needs to play... Um, I think I think it can be put to sleep, um, or at least I, I feel a little bit more comfortable bringing that in, uh, because that that likely will be nightshaded. We can we can force in a nightshade with at least Noctowl. Um, with Herb Bell, you, you just can't get Person Buried, brother. That's really it. All right, I threw away one. We won't need it, but uh, that's really it. Confuse Ray from. Um, Confuse Ray or a Freeze from uh, Mantine could be crazy. Um, but we've got a, good, a lot of good answers. Um, I, this isn't the best team. Uh, we really don't have a great option for Noctowl. Um, and that's where things can get in trouble. You kind of just hope you can get caught up in the rollout sweep here. So, um, okay. We'll, we're going to uh, get close to Faulkner. We'll save and then we'll, uh, we're going to edge and then we'll save. All right, so edging, we got to use just the training kit. And all we do is just click right here, and it gains a lot of XP. All right, so this is it. We're taking on Faulkner here. We need some luck here. We need some luck here with uh, with just getting it to sleep. Uh, Seventy percent or seventy-five percent, I believe, on hypnosis uh, for the ability to put something to sleep here. We're not doing any crazy pivoting here. We just I want to put it to sleep as quick as possible. Um, there's nothing really safe to switch into that guarantees Nightshade. We're going to take a few pecs. There we go. Put it to sleep right away. Now, we don't want to waste any time. Uh, this, we want to, we're hoping it, we need it to cooperate. So stay asleep for as long as possible. Now, what we're going to do first turn is we're going to set up a defense curl. In this gen, um, rollout has a thing where if you set up one defense curl right before you do it, uh, a rollout, your first rollout will go from 30 base power to 60 base power, and then it has a glitch where it just multiplies from there. So 60 to 120 to 240, it, it continues to multiply on itself. Rollout can get out of control if it's unkept. So in this game, they have they give you three experience points to nerf this strategy, and it's really not um, useful outside of this battle. But we're gonna defense curl, it stays asleep, that's huge. Ideally, one more turn. 
it would need to stay asleep because I want it, I, I need it to, uh, it woke up. That's, so we're going to take some damage here. That's a bad crit, but that's going to hurt. And the next one's always going to kill, so... That did nothing. Um, the crit really sucked there, but that did nothing. Especially that that ignored uh, defense curl, which is, again, we, it also ups defense. Um, so that's very important. We're going to go up to level 17 here. We're on the third turn of rollout. Um... So that's going to go up. We are up in defense. So just to make sure that we're safe pretty much to anything that's coming up here. All right. So we got 40 HP. Mantine coming up here. This is probably toxic. No, it goes water gun. This has a mystic water. Uh, it's dead. It's got to be dead. Yeah. Yeah, that that that's now the rollout sweep's gonna really start to take its 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 form, because this is where it's gonna get really spooky. Um, this I don't think can kill me. Wing attack here. I can do a maximum of thirty. Yeah, we're good there. And then if this is token tech, we we really got a problem, child, right out of the way, right out the gate. Uh, we don't want rage, especially while we're completely raging. Alright, we want Togetic here. And goodbye, demon. This thing is a metronome Togetic. This can really get out of hand. We just took care of it right away with one shot. That is the rollout. We just took care of four Pokemon just right away. So Pidgeotto right here. This is very interesting. What what does it want to do? So, right now, Razor Wind is the biggest advantage. Is the biggest damage move. It can it can also be Wing Attack. I am never dead to a Wing Attack crit. Or what? I'm all I am dead to a few Wing Attack crits here. Um, wait. I'm looking. I'm I'm at level 18. Yeah, I'm dead to a few wing attack crits here, but there it actually because of that uh, wing attack only does eight to ten. Razor wind does uh, eleven to thirteen. This is always razor wind. We can headbutt, and I'm curious if this can flinch as a result. I don't think it can. So we're gonna bring in Omanite now. Um, to take the razor wind now. This is where we can start kind of feeling out the battle um, We have a completely healthy we have a really really healthy uh, Hoot hoot which is really key because I think we went with the right uh, berry there. So this is gonna be steel wing um, Steel wing we can go into We can go into Herb Flosion. Do we want to, um, do we want to stay there? Because it's going to be able to get off a shot. We can, uh, I, the level up definitely helps. I think we just switch here. We pivot. It's going to Razor Wind me. It's got a chance to wing attack, and I don't think after Steel Wing damage here, it can kill me with that. No, I'm actually can cannot be killed by anything crit wise um, here. So we're going to uh, we're just gonna flame wheel. I think this two shots, and we outspeed. That's huge. We could pivot one more time. I'm I'm almost certain. To be safe, we could pivot back, back and forth one more time. Um, I just want to double check that I am faster, and that's not a speed tie. No, I I am in fact faster. Yeah, pivot one more time. A 
another crit. I think it was crit twice now. It's pretty insane. But it is what it is. Um, you stay up, nightshade range. Here we go. We're gonna headbutt just in case. Um, it it decide like it can it could flinch there and in case it wanted a wing attack, uh, it's dead. So we've killed the Pidgeotto now. Now we are going to face the Noctowl. Uh, this is gonna try and get us to sleep and Nightshade being able to, and we're gonna be able to take advantage of it wanting to Nightshade here. So first thing we're gonna we're gonna just try and whittle this down uh, with some headbutting here. We're gonna try and take as much passive damage. I want it. I want it to put me to sleep. That's essentially like I want it to try and put me to sleep because if I know it's asleep, and we're gonna get quick attack here. Yes, we would like quick attack. But if I know it's asleep, um, I know uh, it won't use hypnosis on the switch. So that. Uh, gives us a good advantage uh, when we go into um, our uh, our own hoot hoot. Um, so right now we're gonna headbutt. We're gonna try and uh, get some um, passive damage. Try to get some flinches. All right, so it put me to sleep. So this is gonna be nightshade. That's when we're gonna go into our herb owl. Who's now at level seventeen? Um, let me uh, also update because I have wing attack now. Um, and then we're going to be able to put it to sleep here. So this is what we want. It went hypnosis. Did we go? We did it. We went Chesto. That, that helps. We get our Hypnosis off. And now... And now we can, uh... We can go into Urbastar. Now, I, I do want to check something real quick. Confusion, it... It has to high roll. It has to high roll if it does work to kill me. It's a 1 in 16 roll on a on a crit roll. I'm going to take I'm going to go rock slide every time here. I'm going to take that chance every single time that it that it does that cuz it can also hypnosis here. Again, we it's it's I don't and we crit anyway. So let's get it. Gym 1, no deaths except for at the gym in the gym to one gym leader we we lost our war turtle. Uh, almost ridiculously, but we're through um, Run one we will have a new badge. We get to add that badge here. Let's do it uh, This will raise our attack as well um, And also give us some priority hitting moves uh, for flying types um, Which we're gonna get a lot of key flying types here. All right, so All right, we're going to get the call from uh, Professor Ohm. All right, I'm exhausted, guys. Uh, so we got through the first badge, uh, but we'll be back uh, we'll be back tomorrow or whenever I want to stream uh, this next one here, but we're one badge in. Um, so let's get it. We're going to move on to the rest of the game here uh, with a Quagsire as well. I'm very excited. All right. We'll see you next time.